Okay, this is another video from Agricultural Insights. As always, I'm your host, Chris Stelzer. Uh, so, I'm here in South Africa at Ian Mitchell Ennis's farm, and his son William has a pivot, <coughs> a center pivot irrigation grazing system that he has set up, and he rotates the cattle onto, the, onto a new spot on the pivot once a day and then takes them off at night onto their native pasture. Uh, but he's looking at trying to increase the fertility of that pivot. So what he has here set up, and this needs to be watered, which I will do after I take this video. But the setup he has here is worm composting. Uh, it's also called vermicompost, I believe. Uh, and you know, there's other fancy names for it, but he's got one bin and then another one over here and basically there's a hole at the bottom at the lowest point he just drilled a hole down there and once the worms start working he'll fill this up with water or not fill it up but he'll just put water in it and then put buckets underneath right down here he'll put some buckets uh, and then he'll put that into an IBC which is a 275 gallon tank plastic tank with like the metal around it so he'll do that, he'll just dump it in there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of how he made this bin, if you will. So this looks like it's an old gas tank or diesel storage. And he just took an angle grinder and cut it basically in half. And then they have these stands that were either made or he had somehow. And he just put them in the stands. And then, on the bottom here, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, there we go. So on the bottom here, you can see that little white piece right there, that's PVC. And he just has a bunch of PVC that are, is, is lining this tank in that type of motion. And then over the top of that PVC, he put a shade cloth, or maybe it, it's double layered, the shade cloth right here. Uh, you could use geotextile, you could use something that won't decompose. So it's got to be a, a polymer of some kind, a plastic-based product. You could use wire mesh if you want, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, and then on top of that, he put in a bunch of hay uh, or carbon, whatever carbon source you want would work fine. And then on top of that, he put a bunch... All this stuff right here is goat manure okay so as you can see there's a uh, little pellets and this is goat manure and he has goats that are put into a corral every night um, there's a herder that walks them out into the pasture and into the bush every day and then at night they come back inside so there's a lot of manure in there so he's he's utilizing that manure instead of a waste as a resource to make worm compost or worm casting compost tea if you will so um he bought the worms from somewhere and they came in like a cardboard box which was pretty cool and then he just took the worms out of it and immediately made sure this area was moist and then just dumped the worms in and then we put another layer of uh hay or straw or something on top of it you know this type of stuff we put another layer on top of the worms and then we just wetted it down and you know i think the process will take about a month to get anything from the worms any compost tea worm compost tea so um yeah that's pretty much the process um a really great solution to the problem of having manure and a great way to add fertility to, you know, your pastures or your garden or whatever. This doesn't have to be for your pastures. Now, another cool thing that he's going to do is he's going to mix this compost tea from the worms in one of those IBCs. In that IBC, he's also going to put molasses and he's also going to put raw milk. And then he'll probably dilute that entire solution with water. Now what this is gonna do is the compost tea from the worms obviously has a bunch of beneficial nutrients in it, okay? Uh, the raw milk has a bunch of beneficial microbes in it. 
And then the molasses is going to act as a sugar so the, so the microbes within that mixture can just explode. And so after he gets one of those mixtures done, he'll probably just go out uh, and drive it out you know, using some, some type of trailer with a tank on it with an ATV or a truck or something and then just do a test plot and see how it goes. But I just wanted to give you guys an overall look at his worm composting setup. It obviously doesn't need to be fancy. Um, I don't even think he bought anything. Maybe, maybe he bought the shade cloth, I don't know. Um, but let me go inside the shed here real quick. I wanna try and show you an IBC just so you guys know what one looks like. Okay, this is an IBC, International Beverage Container. Okay, I think it holds 275 gallons, or for those of you that use metrics, it holds 1,000 liters, okay? Um, so that's, a, that's an option for making compost, tea, raw milk, molasses, concoction of fertility, all right? Um, also, another great solution while I'm in here and hopefully these wasps leave me alone, is one of these, cutting one of these 55 gallon drums in half, and then just using that as your worm composting center. So, you know, you don't have to do it on quite a large of a scale, uh, you know, especially if you're just doing it at home for a garden or something like that. But, you know, worm composting is another great way to use or utilize your food scraps as well if you don't wanna just straight up compost. And if you really want to go big, you can see those containers over there. I'll zoom in for you. Those are old diesel storage tanks. So, you know, you can do this on any scale you want. So just experiment, have fun, and uh, I would highly encourage you to try worm composting. All right, see you next time.